Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we've been taken back to the late Rico Muerte's hotel, of all places, where we really, really need to do something about all the guys hiding around the corner. Let's not start off in this direction. God damn it! How did you get me with a sawed off from all the way over there? I can't hit the broadside of a barn from more than ten feet away with a shotgun. Fuck. <laughs> Right, I forgot about that guy. Let's make sure these guys are dead. Uh, the suggestion seems to be that that was a man at some point, but... I don't know, maybe it's just a really, really inefficient way of uh, cutting a slab of meat. Yeah, at the butcher shop. Yeah, that's it. Surprise! Next time around, if someone asks you to join a position that makes you look like a member of the Gestapo, say no. from 30 years of gaming experience, I can tell you, it doesn't end well. I guess I'll just walk away. They took my lead pipe. I'll never forgive them for that! Pizza free delivery. With a picture of a chicken for some reason. Does that say Rami 3? I've never heard of a store with like a numerical designation. going from bad to worse. Oh, actually, I do need to. The men in blue had come and gone. They had decorated the place with chalk outlines and tied it together with yellow tape. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. I've already forgotten Frankie's last name. Oh, I'm... It's not actually kicking me out. I thought I was going to have to load to get over. Who the fuck are these guys that they think they can get away with this? Oh no, now my footsteps are over here. Shit! Sorry, Max.
about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Hey, just forget about it. That crazy witch, you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's freaking bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. It's Kate! No. Who's this asshole, and why did he have so much health? Oh, good. They confiscated the thing of Valkyr I didn't know I could break back then. When I got to this part the first time, I, uh, shot the, 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 the briefcase, and one of the things exploded, and I figured that was its damaged state. You know, one of the things broken, one of them cracked. Uh, then I found another one, and it turns out they're separately damage modeled. Whoops! Hoping the cops confiscated that shit. More evidence that Punchinello didn't like me much. Oh my. Oh, I don't remember where it was. Uh, there was like Suomi liquor? Yeah, I think it was this. Yeah, Suomi. That's the, uh, that's, uh, what the Finnish call Finland. Or it's a region in southern Finland. I'm not entirely clear on that. I found contradictory information. What happened to this thing? I didn't shoot this. The fact remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V in their blood. Reliable sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the Mafia had me, didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. <coughs> Don Punchinello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead, and it had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne should die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. I know I can trust you to suck my ass. That was not clever. Um... Wait. Zoom tight. Hey, yeah. Do I load for that? Oh, dear. You're welcome. Now you'll be slightly less undignified when they find you. Easy come, easy go. The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. <laughs> Jesus! My organs. Oh, well, I guess it's a moot point then. Huh. I just want to get saved after clearing out the hallway, at least. Oh, well, let's go kill some guys. Just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Hey, just forget about it. 
That crazy witch, you should have heard her. She was a whack. There he is. He'll call you back. More evidence that Punchinello didn't like me much. The fact remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been no criminals. This is a memo or something. Oh, that's funny. That's one of the default poses they take when they die. The one that looks like they're grabbing the crotch. Yeah, looks like they fall in that one, too. And this guy's doing the crotch thing. What the hell? Oh, come on! Really? That was funny. Hold it. <laughs> and I wash my hands of that problem. Jesus! You did see my health, right? That's insane! Reminder, this is the lowest possible difficulty level. Damn! Actually, you know, one more. Fuck! Couldn't get the guns up in time. This is bad. Bring it! Fuck it, then. Oh no, you're the wrong guy! Where the hell is his buddy? <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat just now. Thank you, thank you. You've been a lovely audience. That enough? I don't play with girls anyway. Unfair! 
I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. A big black Mercedes. I'd seen the car before. That time it had heralded impressive explosions. Ah, the Russians. Vladimir was back. Bang. You're dead, Max Payne. I might have left if I remembered how. Hmm. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Eh, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Chapter 2, an offer you can't refuse. Panchinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Tain, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Ponchinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Ponchinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Ponchinello, you'll need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman of the river Styx. I was just going to say, that's a Greek mythology reference. Chiron is the ferryman. Like, THE guy who takes you to uh, the afterlife. And he was considered very important. There used to be a, uh, a tradition where when you bury a dead person, you leave two coins sitting on top of their eyes. And supposedly the uh, reason for that was that they could use the coins to pay off Charon for his troubles. Nobody rides for free. In fact, I think there's, it explicitly says somewhere that if you can't afford Charon, then you just hang out on the shores of the River Styx for all eternity, and it sucks. Hey! What's up? I mean, I gave him a shot. I mean, a chance, you know what I mean. I also gave him several shots, but that's beside the point. Oh, come on. That would have been awesome. Screw you. Oh, cargo. Can I interest you in the good word? <laughs> have you heard the, the news? Interesting. They uh, limp when they're walking near death. I didn't know that. Notice, the, this premises is, is covered by security surveillance cameras. Area unsafe, keep off. That doesn't make any sense, they're all the same building. And what? Well, I'm glad you had something enjoyable to take with you. Oh! Feck! That was terrible! My health! 
See, this is what you'd use with skids, but I don't see any actual skids here. These are just sitting straight on the ground. Also, someone seems to have taken the tires off of this one, but, you know. Oh, come on! That guy didn't even die! Nope. Bullshit. Okay, fuck that area. I'll just do my outro. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Max Payne. Oh, hey, I'm almost out of ammo. Shit. Better! Single Ingram, that'll do. Uh, yes. See you on the next episode when we continue exploring these docks and do a favor for the Russians! I don't think I've ever worked for the Bratva before. Huh. I wonder what it means by high res hardware. Maybe in addition to guns and bombs, it's also carrying a bunch of video cards. Were dedicated video cards even a thing in 2001? I don't remember. Perfect! Yes. See you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!